Hotspot images are static images, photos, or illustrations with clickable areas that reveal a tooltip pop-up. The tooltip content will give users additional information about a specific aspect of the image. For example, you can use hotspots to identify different products in a photo, label dishes on a menu, or even show the social media handles of different people at an event. In this video, I'll show you how to add hotspot images to your website to help engage your website visitors. Here I have a clean installation of WordPress, and on the left-hand side, we have SeedProd installed. That's the only change that I've made so far. If you need help installing SeedProd Pro, you can go to seedprod.com or click the link in the description below. You can check out the documentation for installation instructions or on the YouTube channel, we have videos on how to do that. Next, we need a page or a website to add the hotspot images onto. So we can either use the landing pages or we can build a theme using the theme builder. Let's go ahead and click this. And here we can build a complete theme or website from scratch. Now you can do that individually with each theme template, or we can use the theme template kits to get a fantastic head start. Let's go ahead and sort these by maybe newest to oldest. And here we can select a random theme here. I'll just pick the first one here. It doesn't really matter. We just need something to work with. And there you go. Seaprod has installed all of these template files for you and you can edit and modify any of them however you wish. We need to make sure that this is enabled in the top right corner if this is a brand new website. Let's go ahead and turn this on. You might get a couple messages to click OK. And I'm gonna go ahead and open this in a new window. Now here we can see the theme that we just imported. So now this is a great head start for any website that you wanna start. And you can modify the text, the images, the colors, absolutely everything. Let's scroll down and maybe we can put a big image here that we can work with with the image hotspot. I'll come back to the theme templates and we'll look for the home page here. We'll go ahead and edit the design. So here we can see the seed prod page builder and on the right hand side we have our page. And if you hover over all the elements on the page, you can see the sections and we have the blocks and the columns and you can modify all of this. Right here we have a big empty section here. This is just a spacer block. We can actually delete this. And on the left hand side under advanced, if we scroll down, we can find the hotspots in this section. We can also use the search blocks up here at the top. So I can type hotspot and we can drag and drop this right into our page. And there we go. Now we can click on block settings. And on the left hand side, we have our image here. So you can use your own image or you can use a stock image that you can search for. Let's go ahead and use our own image here. And I'll go to the media library and select the photo that I uploaded earlier. Let's go ahead and select this one. And here we have a picture of some of the incredible team at Awesome Motive which includes the seed prod team as well, where we feature our brands on over 21 million websites. At the top left here, we have our CEO, Syed Balki. So we can go ahead and maybe add a hotspot to the, his photo where we have some information about him. So first we can see that we have a little hotspot tooltip here that when we hover over it, it works. Let's go ahead and customize this. First with the main image here, we have the photo itself, some alt text, the image size that you can adjust with pixels or percentage, the alignment on desktop or mobile. We can change that however we wish. I'll keep it centered for now. We can minimize this and go to the hotspot itself. And here we have the default one that you see right now. We can click on this to expand the options for it. So we have horizontal orientation and vertical. So I can change this to left or right. I'll change this over to the side and then we'll bring this up. I'll put this right on the edge at the bottom of his photo. And we can put some information here when we hover over. Here we have the tooltip content. So here we can put, for example, the name and I'll put a little bit of information. Now this is what you see is what you get editor. So we can put some text and content in here. So I'll just start a new paragraph and we'll paste some text in here. His name as well, let's go ahead and bold that. And now when we hover over, we can see that information here. We can see the name as well as a description here. And keep in mind that you can use this for anything. For example, a restaurant with menu items, if you wanna provide more information, maybe some employee list where you can show their contact information when you hover over. It's a great interactive and compact way to provide more information. If we come down here, we have the color as well. So we can go ahead and change this to a different color. So green, yellow, orange, you can also customize it completely to any color that you wish. Let's go ahead with the blue for now. And I'll close this. We also have some advanced options here. So we have a label. So for example, I could put a name and this will get rid of the circle here. And of course I would reposition this slightly. So now when you hover over, you can still see the information, but it has a label here instead. You can also put a link. So I could put syedbalki.com and this would go to his website when you click on it. For now, I'm just gonna remove this information and we'll look at the custom icons. So down below here, we can click and choose an icon. And for example, maybe I could just do a simple arrow and we'll change this to face downwards. Now, when we hover over, you can see the information is on the top and we can change the location of that. We'll do that in a moment. If we come down, we can change the custom icon size. Let's go ahead and click on that. So we can make this larger or smaller if we wish. I'll leave it around 20. I think it was at 24. Great. Now we can add another hotspot if we wish. We can actually come up and minimize this one. 
and we can go ahead and duplicate this too as well. So if you have all the same information, you just need to replace a little bit. You can just duplicate that and then change the position for the next person and then go ahead and change the content in the tooltip content. If you want to remove it, you can simply hit the trash can here. And now we have just the single hotspot here. At the bottom, we have hotspot animation. So right now we have a soft beat. You can see it looks like a soft heartbeat. We also have expand as well, which is a little bit more noticeable. Go ahead and we can minimize this and we have tooltip options here. Right now we have the position. Like I said, it's facing to the top. We can actually change this to the bottom. So now that the arrow, when you hover over, you can see that that information is at the bottom, which makes a little bit more sense. We also have the trigger here. Right now it's on hover, but we can change this to click. So instead of the hover working, we need to click on it. And you can see that that works just fine. We also have the animation. So we have a fade, we have grow, slide, fall. You have different animations here that you can use. So there's a slide in effect. We have a swing, we have a fall, and we have the grow. So whichever one makes the most sense for you, you can go ahead and select that. You have the animation duration here. And if you want to show the arrow, so you could turn that off. So you would just have the box here instead of the little arrow above it. We also have the max width here. So if you increase this, we can go ahead and check again. You can see that that increases quite a bit. So you have full control over this, maybe 250. We'll look at that. You can see that's a little bit more compact. Great. If we come under advanced, we have more options here for the style. So we have the image shadow. So for example, if we had a large shadow, we have more settings here for the style. So you have the image shadow. We have the image border. We have the border style. Right now it's the solid border color and the border width. You can also change the spacing here with the margin and padding, as well as the attributes and the device visibility. Great. Once you're happy with everything, you can go ahead and save this. You can go ahead and close this page. And I'll come back to our home page here. And we can actually refresh this page. So this is a live page right now. It's not inside of the Cprod page builder. And if we look, we can click on this and we can see the tooltip opens up for us perfectly. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit seedprod.com and check out our documentation page. If you require extra technical help, please feel free to contact our support team. Hey everybody, this is Chris from Seedprod. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel where I can show you how to create beautiful WordPress websites and landing pages by using our drag and drop page builder.